Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. While the prospect of building more walls along the border has become hugely controversial under the Trump administration, the reality is for many areas along the border, like San Diego, building a wall is nothing new. The fence turned one of the most dangerous neighborhoods into America into one of the safest. I grew up here, I learned to play here. This was, so we used to cross the border back and forth in the old days, chasing rabbits with our bow and arrow. How has it changed between then and now? In the 80s, it started getting very ugly. The criminal element got really big. The valley literally became one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in America. Once um, it reached that critical stage, people realized they had to do something, that they, uh, the criminals were taking advantage of the lack of control. I worked here when the fences weren't here, when there was just a little chain link fence over there, and it was out of control. There was 300 people here. They put babies over the fence. They were throwing soccer balls of heroin over. In 1986, before any major walls or fences separated the border between San Diego and Mexico, Border Patrol agents in this region apprehended more than 600,000 people, accounting for one-third of all border apprehensions that year. Construction of the primary wall, which covers 46 miles and stands between 8 and 10 feet tall, began in 1991. Construction of a secondary fence which stands between 14 and 18 feet high, covering 13 miles of the border, began in 1997. Today, the San Diego sector now accounts for only a small fraction of total apprehensions along the border each year. You've actually got businesses right on the border now. You, if you take a picture of an aerial photograph or just shoot down the fence, um, you'll see Mexico has built right to the fence. They have businesses and homes right on the fence. We've backed off and been intimidated because of the illegal and the crime problem. The fence has allowed businesses on the United States side to come up and come up closer to it. And what's interesting is that people come in legally from Mexico, shop in the, these shops in the United States, and then go back to Mexico. But they do it through the gate. It took me only like 15 minutes, so it's not hard at all. Uh, I'm sure there's other days that are busier than today. So that wasn't my my case today, so it, it was pretty easy. Um, the city has even gone so far as to put in parks and campgrounds, want to put campgrounds up here because the decrease in criminal activity and the safety measure that have been put in place just by us being here. And most community leaders will admit easily that it's because the Border Patrol is here that these things are possible because they weren't back in the day before those barriers and before the increased manpower was here. I think people are getting so obsessed with um, symbolism rather than substance. San Diego has the largest land port of entry in the world. We have the biggest gate in the entire world here, but we also have a high fence. They have a saying in Mexico, good fences make good neighbors. Since building a wall, crime rates in San Diego have dropped dramatically. In 1989, there were more than 100,000 total crimes committed. And last year, there were just under 34,000. Do you think that there are any lessons to be learned in San Diego and that the type of infrastructure that's put into place here could or should be replicated in other areas? Physical structures can be a major aid at law enforcement. And the people that really are victims when you lose law enforcement are the weak and the vulnerable. The people that die along this border, I mean, I rescued drowning illegals that were being pushed during the flood period by smugglers. They were walking across, they didn't know the dangers. The fence sends a very clear message to everybody before they even try to cross the border. No, don't come here the wrong way. You wanna to come to America, come here through the gates 